Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another unbelievable model to take a look at for you guys. This is a, probably one of the most requested models that I think I've ever had as far as, you know, requests for a review goes. Probably because it's been out for quite some time, and I've had a lot of people consistently asking me to get it reviewed over that period of time. And we are now finally at that point where we can review it. This is the W Dragon Jurassic Park 3 style Velociraptor slash Deinonychus, whatever you would like to call it. I believe it's technically labeled as a Deinonychus. However, it is obviously the JP3 female Velociraptor that we have here before us, and it just looks incredible. As always, W Dragon does a great job on the accuracy of their models, really depicting that perfect screen accurate look in the sculpts of their models and also giving it that gorgeous looking paint job that we see before us. And this one actually has a really nice looking base as well. I actually quite like this base a bit more than I like the base for the 120th Tyrannosaurus because this one actually includes a little bit more of a realistic look on it. But honestly, everything on this is just phenomenal here at first glance. So let's go ahead, get a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of the Velociraptor, you can see that the actual detailing aspect looks great. The texturing to the skin looks phenomenal. I love that there's some like smaller scales up here around the snout area of our raptor but here on the side and like the palette area you see a really nice skin textured look as opposed to a scaly type of a look you have some gorgeous detailing there around the eye as well really beautiful detailing throughout the entire eye socket the eye itself is a really nice yellow coloration but does have like a few real slight hints of like a pinkish coloration in there as well and you have a nice black pupil there as well as that little bit of like a reddish coloration or a pinkish coloration there around the eye of the raptor the nostrils are actually sculpted quite nicely which i did not mention you have that trademark jp3 style head sculpt here with that crest like area that you see on the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors, which I think looks really nice as well. Again, W Dragon usually does a great job as far as capturing a lot of accuracy in the sculpts as far as like screen accuracy goes. And you can definitely see that throughout this Velociraptor here. You can also see the ear is sculpted right there. The lower jaw also sports some beautiful detailing. Again, some really nice texturing to the skin as well as some incredibly nice tones of color to the model i feel like they nailed it as far as the paint application goes on this raptor you can also see the teeth as the mouth is slightly open it's just not open enough to really get in there and take a good look at what we have going on but you can see that the teeth look nice and sharp they are very nice and very realistically painted so I actually quite like this look for the Raptor. It's not something that you often see as far as like the mouth just being open a little bit, but not enough to make it look like it's ferociously trying to kill something or just kind of chilling and looking around. Like it's just kind of right in the center. Like maybe it's just kind of letting out some sort of a noise, some kind of a growl or something. Not entirely sure, but I really quite like it. As we start to move back into the neck, you can see lots of really nice creasing going on here in the neck region of the Velociraptor. Lots of really beautiful color variation included as well. You start to see some of those black stripes and stuff running down the course of the body up here on the top as well. Again, the paintwork looks great. You can see some more of that darker striping and everything and the really nice scale detail to the top of the head up here on the Raptor as well. You can see kind of like a scoot-like appearance running down the top of the head, like some osteoderms running along the spinal column. And I just bumped the poor thing off of the light that I have here. Some pretty nice detailing here in the neck region with a few skin wrinkles and stuff right there. As we continue to move down the course of the neck, we have some nice creasing in the skin. As we get down here, you can see the shoulder blade a little bit right there. The arm sculpt looks great. Just like with the Rex, it's held in to the body in a very nice natural position. Love that it's sculpted so realistically as far as the placement of the arms go. You have those really cool Jurassic Park style raptor arms, some nice musculature displayed within the arms, and the hand sculpts look fantastic. The nails genuinely look sharp, like they look uber sharp, and they definitely feel kind of sharp too, actually. Something that you should probably be pretty careful with. I feel like if you're not, you could easily break the model as well, which would be a disaster. But the paintwork is really nicely done. You can see like that reddish coloration there on the undersides to the hands. 
beautiful scoot-like appearance down the fingers, and the actual fingernails are painted really beautifully as well, similar to the Rex, where they kind of start off with a darker coloration transition realistically to actually on this one it's more of like a tan type of a color as you reach the outer edges of the nails. Coming back up into the stomach region, again, lots of incredible skin texture to be found all over the model. Nice skin wrinkling going on here in the stomach region. You don't see so much of the stomach on this side as the raptor is moving its leg forward. It's kind of blocking the view of the stomach a little bit, but the paintwork looks really beautiful on here as well. You can continue to see those osteoderms running along the spinal column right there. The hip bone is nicely elaborated. You have some very nice muscle tone in the thigh as well as the kneecap present right there. And then the calf muscle beautifully displayed within the sculpt as well. More of those nice black stripes and stuff that pretty much litter the female raptor from Jurassic Park 3. Beautiful scoots down the course of the toes. You also have the very nice sickle claw right there which looks super menacing and super sharp. Beautifully painted nails, just like we had seen on the hands. Same style of paint as it starts with like a darker coloration, transitions to almost like a khaki type of a color or a tan as you get closer to the edges of the nails. And you can see the dew claw is present, which we can't see on this foot currently because it's on the other side, but the dew claw is definitely present. And then as we move up here, you can see some more of the skin stretching off of the body as this leg is pulling forward. Really nicely shown within the sculpt. The texturing again is all brought out beautifully beautifully with a nice dark gray wash which makes everything on this raptor just pop so well. And then you can run out the course of the tail. The coloration looks really nice. The tail is in an upward position and has a slight curve to it but it's a very realistic looking curve I would say. They really nailed the paint application of this raptor like it genuinely looks pretty much exactly as I can recall it from the film. Even the reddish coloration is present on the undersides of the feet. Some more really nice skin detail here on the underside of the raptor showing again some of the movement of the dinosaur and then as we turn it around here you can again see that the head sculpt looks great the eyes are nicely glossed they look picture perfect and very realistically done again i really quite like the sculpting of the head and the positioning of the mouth every angle i see it from i think i like it even more beautiful paintwork yet again applied to the face the sculpt is just as nice on this side as it was on the previous side, but that's pretty much what you would expect to see. You can see the head of the raptor is turned to the left, so we see probably a little bit more stretching of the skin on this side compared to the previous side, but there are still quite a bit of creases and everything over here to be found. You can actually see some more of the stretching actually on this side as opposed to like the wrinkling and bunching up on the other side. So there's one area where you can definitely see the stretching more so than the previous side, but the texturing again looks great as you move down the course of the neck, all brought out beautifully with that grayish wash. And again, the arms are in a very nice natural position. The arm on this side is back slightly further than we see on the opposing arm, but it looks great just like it did on the opposing arm. The hands and everything look phenomenal as far as both the sculpt and paintwork over here as well. And then we can see a bit more of the stomach region over here because this leg is trailing. It's pulling the skin. You can see the skin stretching right there. And you get a little bit of a better idea of just how beautiful the actual stomach region looks over here, sculpt-wise and paint-wise. You can see actually some nice variations of like, almost like hints of slight pinks and stuff within the stomach region as well as like bluish grays. Very interesting, really cool looking paint application. I love how realistically these larger W Dragon models are as far as the paintwork. It's very realistic as far as like the slight variations of skin tone, giving it an incredibly lifelike look. You can see that same thing up here in the throat as far as like the hints of like pink and stuff and like bluish grays and everything. It just is super, super lifelike. You can again pick up on the hip bone right there. Some more beautiful muscle tone throughout the entire leg back here. You don't see it flexing as much as you see over there. Like you can really see that calf muscle supporting the weight of the dinosaur here. It's a little more relaxed because this leg is picking up off of the ground. So you don't see so much going on as far as the muscles tensing over here. And then the foot sculpt looks great. It's actually a pretty similar pose to the Tyrannosaurus as this side again on the T-Rex was like picking up off of the ground and it's the same thing you see here on the Raptor so that's pretty fun to note but you can definitely see that the foot sculpt looks great the nails are sculpted and painted beautifully over here as well and then you have some more nice skin stretching and stuff as we lead out the length of the tail again the tail looks phenomenal very nice natural position for it and overall this Raptor is easily the best GP3 Raptor out there currently 
And then we have the base, which is actually really quite heavy. But you can see the base is like a wooded area, kind of a forested area with some downed logs, lots of really nice vegetation, kind of a muddy-like appearance, as well as some water. So it's very reminiscent to the Jurassic Park 3 kind of area where the raptors were inhabiting. And I feel like that is a really nice touch on the part of W Dragon. And the base here looks great as far as the actual fine detailing when you get nice and close like it genuinely looks like mud and stuff and the water is super realistic i really love how there's so much realism in the base of this one compared to the rex i felt like the rex base was nice but this one is way better than what we saw in the rex model at least as far as realism goes and there's quite a bit more going on on this base compared to the rex one but the sculpting, again, is just incredibly well done. The paintwork is just top-notch, and the overall realism of the base as well is top-notch, including water and stuff like that on it. And then the underside does actually state Deinonychus, 1 8th scale, full-color resin statue, and it is a limited edition of 300, which we actually have number 8 of 300 here. And then you have the W Dragon symbol, as well as these little circles to make sure that it doesn't move around, which, trust me, they definitely do their job. So again, labeled as a Deinonychus, but it is obviously meant to be a Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor, the female version, and it is incredible. To apply your raptor to the base, you just have to basically find the spot that has that peg hole, and then you have to slide it in. There we go. goes in nice and smoothly, and then our raptor stands perfectly on her base, looking very, very proud. As far as the size goes, actually we're just going to go ahead and move this forward a little bit and then we'll go to the top of the tail. So for a length from the head to the tail, you are looking at about 19 and a half inches or about 49 and a half centimeters. And I apologize if that's really shaky because I'm holding it with just my knees as opposed to my hands. So I can use the tape measure for a height to the top of the tail. We're looking at about 13 and a quarter inches or about 34 centimeters. And then to the top of the head, if we move it back. So to the top of the head, you are looking at about 10 and a half inches or about 26 and a half centimeters, maybe closing in on 27. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line. And boy, Muldoon would be. Right now, currently experiencing his worst nightmare with a raptor this large, but you can definitely see in comparison to these figures right here, again, roughly that the size of this JP3 raptor is quite large overall. Definitely an incredibly impressive size, and I would like to think that you can easily tell that with these figures in comparison to it. This W Dragon model here of the female Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor, aka Deinonychus, is definitely the total package when it comes to both sculpt, paint, and size. So this W Dragon 1 8 scale Deinonychus, also known as the JP3 female Velociraptor, is a beautiful, beautiful model. And in fact, I have yet to find a W Dragon model that was anything but unbelievably beautiful. And that statement continues to be true with each and every release that I enter into my collection from them. This raptor is unquestionably the best JP3 Velociraptor that you're going to find anywhere. There is no better than this one currently as far as I'm concerned. W Dragon has sculpted this out to perfectly resemble a Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor in every way, even including a really nice pose for the raptor. I love the positioning of this model. It's very nice and relaxed looking. It doesn't look overly ferocious. It just basically looks like we jumped to Sorna and we had a moment to just take a look at the raptor while nothing was around. Nobody was bothering it. It was just kind of walking along, maybe communicating with another raptor or the pack of raptors and we just kind of took that moment, froze it in time, and brought it here in model form. So I really, really love the overall positioning of the body and the sculpt. And again, the sculpt is as highly detailed as it gets. Just like you always find with W Dragon, they hammer out incredible detail into each and every sculpt of their models. And that is exactly what you find here. 
every ounce of detail that you would expect to see is perfectly present within the sculpt of this model and the paintwork as well is really well done again as far as i'm concerned the tones of color used perfectly resemble the jurassic park 3 velociraptor and the actual paint application as well is very lifelike very realistically and very well done it looks nice and natural on the model doesn't really look like paint on a figure either it honestly looks like the body color of the dinosaur the base as well is incredibly beautiful, very realistic, very lifelike overall, sporting a nice muddy area, again looking basically like the forests of Isla Sorna, and I think they did a fantastic job as far as bringing that type of a look to the base in a very, very realistic way as well. So as a whole, this is an unbelievable W Dragon release, and... This one and the Bull Tyrannosaurus are easily my two favorite W Dragon models out there. So two things that I would say are absolutely worth picking up. Unfortunately, this is discontinued now. I do believe it's totally sold out. But again, like I had stated in the Tyrannosaurus review, unless somebody already purchased it from that review, Dan's Dinosaurs did have one of these left, I do believe, for sale. So make sure you check out Dan's Dinosaurs. Contact him to inquire further about picking this up. If it's something you are interested on, do not sleep on it because it's something that's going to be incredibly hard to find in the future, incredibly rare, being a limited edition of only 300. That's a very small number. So it's something that you should probably get on purchasing right away if you are interested, especially from Dan, so that you can at least acquire one for retail. So make sure you contact Dan and place an order for this if you are interested right away before it sells out. And make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.